welcome everyone. In this video we are going to see and analyze this interesting and complicated pawns endgame. It is white to move, uh, white is going to be able to win this position. I suggest you to pause the video for some seconds and try to analyze it by yourself and then I will be explaining uh, what I know or what I understand here. Okay, well, in this position black has three pawns as white has only two, but as you can see black has two double pawns here on the A file, so the extra pawn doesn't really mean anything for black here. Mm, on the other side, white has a very active king here and it's going to threaten uh, black pawns very soon. So let's see how can white win the endgame. The most logical plan is to try to capture here on d5. But if we analyze a little deeper, we will see that um, even if white king captures here, black king will take the opposition. Um, then we could use this pawn as decoy and try to capture these pawns but black king will be able to capture uh, the d pawn and come back to c file and as this is a rook pawn then white sorry black will be able to get the draw in that endgame I mean something like this doesn't work here because black king takes the opposition now white should try to use the pawn as decoy but it's not going to be enough black king uh, will be back on time so capturing the pawn is not going to be enough for white to win so we need to find a different idea if we were able to capture a pawns then we could use the a pawn as decoy capture the d pawn and then with um, the d pawn we could be able to win because as this is not a rook pawn then black king will have to be in front of the pawn and probably black king will not be able to do that on time so that's something different and that seems good but the problem is how to get that and the answer is we need to use distant opposition distant opposition maybe you already know it is when there is a not number of squares between both kings maybe three or five squares so the first move is going to be king f5 if, you, if we can't take opposition or distant opposition we need at least to make sure our opponent can't take it either so king f5 is fine advancing and black king doesn't have a way to take distant opposition after a move like uh, king b6 then king f6 now we got distant opposition after our move as for example king c7 white could play king e5 taking diagonal opposition and it could be more or less the same position we will have in some moves okay so king b6 king f6 king b7 king f7 taking distant opposition again king b8 and now we're not going to be taking distant opposition forever this is the moment to advance so white plays king e6 after king c7 king e7 king c6 king d8 remember we are trying to get these pawns here on the rook file king d6 king c8 and here black has two options they can try to go back and play king c6 to protect the a pawns or they can start a counter attack uh, playing king e6 and try to get the d pawn. After king e6, king b7, 
and king f5 then white should not capture on a6 because after king e4 king takes and king takes both pawns will promote at the same time so instead of king a6 the right move should be something like king c6 and um, after king e4 king c5 is winning uh, black will be in sucks one so king e6 and we should not go to b6 because then king f5 and it's the same position but we make like a pause here like a tempo and we play king c5 mm, if black king goes here then we can capture and win with d and if black king goes to e7 then we go to get the a pawns and now it is it is going to be winning here because we have another extra tempo but after the other line king c6 this seems very strong because it's taking uh, opposition here and it seems like black king is going to be protecting the a pawns uh, very easily we play king b8 and after king b6 we have this beautiful move king a8 uh, taking advantage that uh, black king cannot take the opposition now because of uh, the black pawn after king c6 then white is going to capture black pawns on the rook file and we are going to use the a pawn as decoy to win the endgame black should play king a6 king takes pawn and this is a winning position for white the most important thing about this endgame is how white use distance opposition to maneuver and win the position and also it was really elegant this move king a8 i really liked that move so thank you for watching this video i hope you have enjoyed it and you have learned something if you want more instructive end games like this one give me likes so i can know it and I hope to see you soon in another video.